Hi everyone, my name is William Van Busker, and over this past summer I was given the opportunity to intern again for Pneumatic Scale Angelus. Pneumatic Scale Angelus is a company that focuses on creating fillers, cappers, and seamers for large industries such as Unilever, Kraft Foods, and other such industries that require packaging. My specific role in this internship was to um, help the filler industry. Um, for this part, I was assigned roles such as detailing assemblies or creating drawings or optimizing parts that are already created. I specifically worked on an assembly that was for a 3A line. 3A line is specifically for either dairy or pharmaceutical uses. But we'll jump into what the internship was all about. Hi, my name is Mike Davis. I'm the t uh, team leader for filler engineering here at Pneumatic Scale Angeles. I had the fortunate opportunity to work with William Van Buskirk as part of our team. And as a high school intern, we took a di slightly different approach than we normally do with our uh, college co-ops. So we wanted to give him more of a broad range perspective of engineering uh, in particular. And in the filler group, on a day-to-day -day basis, he had a wide variety of opportunities and um, tasks at hand, anywhere from assisting experienced engineers with their designs and detailing their work to getting feedback from assemblers on what uh, could be changed or improved on our mechanical assemblies and incorporating those into existing designs. And then his final, I guess, final project was to work with us on a pharmaceutical project for a, a company in Nebraska in which we had to incorporate the 3A sanitary standards into our already uh, sanitary machine. And he had to review the sanitary standard, learned it, um, understood it, and incorporate that into our current design. And that's where we ended up with a um, William's new design of a filling head. All right, this is the final product of William's design uh, for our 3A sanitary um, certified filling head. Basically how it operates is that product is distributed through a main manifold into this port. It's measured through a, in this case, a mass flow meter, which controls the operation. Up top is your actuator, and as this retracts, the nozzle down here opens and dispenses the product into the container. Once the uh, measuring device determines the correct amount of product has been dispensed, it sends a signal that pneumatically closes this actuator. Now the special special features that William had to work with um, to incorporate the sanitary standard was uh, specifically this area here where we have the main seal of the product. Um, the sanitary standard dictates that there must be a minimum gap of one inch between the actuator and the seal itself so that you can visually see that if the seal has been breached. So our current, our standard design does not incorporate that. So William had to take it upon himself to develop a new, new way to meet that standard. And this is your final product here. During the six months that uh, William was here, he learned quite a bit about the uh, design process. So he got to work through the whole process of designing the parts, going through quotes, learning about cost-effective measures. So he's able to see the time and everything that's spent through engineering, through purchasing, as to what all goes into a part. It was a small part of the project, but it, was, it helped us out as it was a whole new aspect for us being in the filler engineering department. So he was able to do basically the main portion of being the filling head. So he got to learn how our filling heads function. One key lesson I learned while this internship was the idea of interdependent design work. I thought it was amazing that you know, I spent my whole summer working on this one component right here and I worked on how to find the solution. But the amazing part of it was that this is a huge machine. There was so much engineering design work going on. Each component must talk to the other components. So I feel it was an awesome experience realizing that I was contributing a small part to a whole. And I was connected in that way to a larger team. And that was a great skill I learned on the project. Um, through making this, there was a lot of stuff I really didn't know. I mean, I think from the start of the project, I didn't know Saga Headed Cap Screw, Hex Head, all of these names I really didn't know. But throughout the internship, I learned a lot. But I also learned how to learn. I learned who to talk to. I learned how to find it on my own. How to search the internet for all these, this vast store of knowledge. How to really 
find out what's going on and apply this to my job. To both work independently, but also interdependently with others. So I think that was definitely a key skill I learned on this internship. So, uh, William learned uh, SolidWorks here. That's our main program that we use for 3D modeling. He, he initially took a few modules to get familiar with it, and then as he progressed, we had him take on a lot more complex uh, projects. He was able to learn a lot of assembly and parts uh, modeling, and then he took that even further into the detailing stage, and then he was able to create a detail, um, adding uh, tolerances, dimensions on that, able to get those um, drawings released. So our uh, procurement and manufacturing was able to order the parts, and then uh, basically took it from there. Thank you so much again, just for taking the time to uh, learn about what I did at International Scale in Angeles. I feel like a lot of these skills I've learned could be applicable to any industry. So thank you again.